miss you, I miss you, I really want to kiss you, but I can't. Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome into your tarot card messages for today, July 31, 2022. Thank you for being here with me, and I hope all is well with you. Much love. All right, so these are general messages of love for the sign of cancer. So let's get it. Remember that they are general, so they may not all apply to all of you. Take the ones that apply, okay? Take the messages that apply. Someone may think, so this is the beginning of the reader. All right, probably I'll leave that message for a little bit. So there's this sister circle or this circle here. Something is ending. This one person felt like, they had sex with multiple people or friends or a group of people or something. Because something was a cycle. This could be a person that's coming back to you from your past. Or this is a past energy. This could be a person that you were working with or a person that had their own job, their own, their own company. This could be a Sagittarius. This person may have had intercourse with two of three. Now they want, they're coming back for the next one. I don't know, that's for someone. I feel like something is very successful in your love energy because you are attracting some something to you, Cancer. This is a magician. Someone feels like you may have them under a spell or someone's person feel like you have them under a spell. Like someone else's person is thinking that they don't know why their person is so attracted to you or something like that. That's for some of you. So, because I can feel this third party energy, the, the energy of the third party, they feel upset, envious, jealous. They just feel hurt that their person think of you or talk about you so or love you so. So, I don't know who you are to this. So, this could be your ex that cheated on you or was some kind of infidelity energy here. They wasted your time. I feel like this person realized they wasted your time. They wasted your time. This person wasted your time. There could have been something about three women or... This person may have just, may have just had you in this third party energy. And you walked away. No, they can't stop thinking about you, th talking about you. Like Maybe even this person walk away from you to someone else. But you are always on my mind. You're always on this person's mind. They think about you sexually. I don't know. And maybe they compare you. I'm hearing that song. It's a Jamaican song and it's very raunchy. I heard the lyrics, but it kind of slipped my mind a little bit. Um, What's that song about? It's, a, it's literally about sex. It's a dancehall song. Um, Something like that. Like a, it's not ramping shop, it's uh, something else. But this is an energy of um like you don't the past may be coming back around. Something that you put an end to maybe a particular lifestyle. Like for some of you males that are watching, you may be encountering women that you used to have like just occasional sex with and stuff like that, and they may come around thinking you're the same person. Are you? Are you still attracting these people to you? Something about empty, empty vessel or enemy or something. And why are you attracting people like that to you? No, back to you. Because these people, these like for, for the males, these women are coming back. Because they think you're still a player. They still, you're, you're, they think you're still a cheater. Like you're still, um very uh without you're like you, they think you don't have boundaries you know they think they can still walk up on you rub up their bodies on you flirt with you they think you're still easy when it comes to sex and getting close to you these people these women for you males these women they don't respect you at all as a man they just see you as oh sorry 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 but maybe you have changed or a cancer, this is the energy of the person that you're dealing with that does not have any boundaries and thinking that they can come back around to you. Past energy. These people are stuck. Three fives on the table. These people, they don't know what to do. That's another song. They're like, should I go back? And then they're like, okay, I'm just going to go to cancer. So they end up coming toward you. So don't be fooled. 
something is gonna be re released on the media okay someone may have been hiding some truth about their sexuality all right yeah so these people are stuck so they're like i don't know if they were thinking these are people that you probably even went to school with these are long time people they're thinking all right I, like um there's so much information pouring into my brain space so <sighs> okay so they are thinking so they are thinking should i reach out to cancer to see what's up with cancer flirt with you or say the same old like the same old thing so this energy is like a cycle they are trapped in that cycle and they're gonna try and reach out to you to see if you're still in this cycle but and they're gonna come with the same old game the same old energies this this could be affiliate um financial affiliation watch this watch this this could be family war or something at work and this could be love past relationships so someone from a past someone that you ended a connection with feeling a type of wins so these people they miss you right they want to revive a connection with you this person they probably love you so much but they're so inflamed and I'm telling you, I feel like they've been arguing with their person now because they thought that they, the grass would have been greener on the other side. But here they come looking for you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're probably arguing with their partner. I feel like I was saying they compare you to their person. That like they would mention your name. And that I don't like that. That's not cool to me. Because it's like they're trying to put negative energy onto you. Because by, by comparing you to someone else with the person that they're with, they're trying to fuck with your vibration. Because they're only going to create drama and chaos between your energy and their person for what? For what? See, see, that's why this, this, this time. Anyway, so you see that confusing energy that, yeah. Anyway, let's move forward. This song is playing. Someone wants to have sex with you or something about sex because that song keeps playing in my head and I swear it's been playing in my head since I woke up this morning, you know, and I was wondering why the F I was, in, I was wondering if it was because someone was playing it around me why, because it's not a song I listen to, but my girl, so the sex energy, I'm going to look for it, find it. <laughs> listen to me, beautiful souls. I found the song. So somebody was a cheater with this king of wands and the five of pentacles. This person, but I'm sorry, I don't know what's funny. This person was a cheater, but I'm happy and I'm grateful for the good energy, right? And the connection ended. Let, let's look at the death card, blood clot. You. This person wants to be born again with you. Because let me tell you this song. We're gonna probably look for the lyrics. It's a song by Skilly Bang. And it name bless me, baptize me. All right, so make us leave me. Watch this lover's card. <laughs> oh, All right, so the song is just saying, "Baby, why you blessing me? Baby, why you tempting me? Baby, why you blessing me? Baby, why you tempting me?" I guess that's the first part. So somebody may feel like you're tempting them or they feel like baby you the best you do you the best you the best i ever had i don't know someone is confused too because why is this person confused holy 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 a lot of what is this someone missed you like the lifetime you're like a picture frame nostalgia it's it feels so good but it it's not there you know like you miss something that felt so good but then you realize you don't have it oh my god tell me more about the seven of cups this person may want to reach out to you all i'm just seeing is the sex energy intercourse love making Maybe chemistry, maybe this person was your soulmate in some way, shape, or form. But they may have, look, two of cups danced out of here. I hear dance and rhythm. 
I don't know this piece. I don't know, man. Why is making me laugh like this now? Look. Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, Virgo. Like, someone may have had a secret. I don't know, like, been undercover or a secret crush. Hermit Energy Secret Lover. I don't know, something like that. And so this may have been some good love. Good love. You know the money. You know, this person was confused as fuck. Like, sorry, this person that let go of you is like, I don't know why they let go of you like that. Lovers, twin, like, lo, lo, lo. I don't know. Like, magic was involved in this. Lovers, that's your twin flame. Or sexy or sex or something was good. The chemistry, the energy. But something else was up. There could have been a police officer involved here or... It's ambulance or emergency situation or some angel or guidance or something or a guide. This could be a water sign or an earth sign. And then there is this magic at play or the universe. So what I'm getting is that someone felt like someone bigger and better or competition. Like the whole universe was working against them and your relationship. Or this was another person that they felt bigger. Like this person. I don't know. It's like this person they saw that you were on you have big dreams or bigger things or you're spiritual or they see that you're connected to the divine to the universe and this person is looking at you like no they miss you no they're looking at you like you're strange or you're magical or they were telling themselves that you are onto bigger better things look they they knew that you know things maybe that's why they like i don't know something about messages so this person may have been telling themselves that there was a person out there that you love more or something or was more deserving of your love. This And they didn't tell you this or there may have been sightings or text messages. But let's move forward. Let's move forward. Baptize me. Bless me. Well, <laughs> no, I can't play. So anyway, next card is the star card is the card of healing now i feel like something about the community community members or this person had the community d or i feel like maybe now they think that they want to heal or change i don't even know what this person want to tell you the truth confusion because i'm like what do you what like apart from it seeming like they want to have intercourse with you and they want you i don't know like because obviously they didn't treat you well. They cheated. So I'm like, why, why, are, why are you here? I can't understand. Like, why? What do you want? Something about death. I hear minimal. Money. Contracts. It feels like um, um, minimal sounded like deposits. Like when I put some insert. Oh. <laughs> Why, God? It's not funny. Maybe I should. We should have more boundaries, cancer ourselves right now. Anyway, let's move forward. Yay, so we're going to continue moving forward because something has ended. It's in the past. I guess it's just really funny to see that. Or it's not very funny to see that um the per a person is with another person and they're so angry with the person that they're with, you know, upset. Maybe this is how they were with you, Cancer. Magic was involved. There was a high priestess. Some or maybe their ex was doing the magic. I don't know while you guys were together. Because this person was angry, they were upset. Are they are upset with the person that they are with? Because there's someone else that they were, that they are thinking about is like it's you, it's you. They're thinking about you, and they're upset with their person for what? Because they feel like they made a bad decision, or they're trying to find a reason to leave. Maybe this. <clears throat> so have faith. <clears throat> Keep moving forward. Yes. Some about being stumbled and yeah, yeah, that devil energy. 
don't know. This person may have a poison. Like, this person may have... What's going on with this person? A family. Or they're talking to your family. And... I don't know. This person may need healing, sexual healing. So what is the devil card? This person could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo Taurus energy. Why are you so suspicious of this person's energy? It's the this person is the way you feel about them. Suspicious. Like this person is thinking, why do you feel like I'm evil? But then they have the devil standing right by them. <laughs> person is like a narcissist probably you know or they have some toxic ways but they're asking i don't understand why you hate me after they've done so much to you, you know this person is like i don't understand why you think of me this way i don't understand why you hate me this is so and you're like duh you're like duh like obviously but it's like i don't know if this person can't see their own ways i don't know if this person can't see their own ways their own toxic ways that could be any of us cancer to tell you the truth so let us not pass judgment and be looking externally when we're talking in these messages we have to see how it applies to our energy inside as well right so <laughs> maybe my toxic way is laughing when it's not funny because i don't know what's funny here not funny because this could be happening to anyone but anyway these are your love messages um <clears throat> of today i feel it's all well much love and blessings up on your journey if someone isn't treating you well right now in your relationship and they're like angry at you and trying to find a reason to leave or to get you to leave or whatever it's fine because they're gonna suffer they're gonna miss you when you're gone kind of energy and you're on to bigger better things to new love and true love and this is just a lesson. And that person is one day going to want to come back around and call you and hook up with you and meet up with you. And you're going to be like, even though I don't see any swords energy here indicating your boundaries. I don't know, man. But I feel good joy for you. Happiness, just pure success with the three of cups. Like success. Like whatever you are working on. It's going to be successful. I feel like while you were with this person, there were things that you aspired for. And they kind of went a little bit dormant in energy because you were giving this person on energy so much of your time. But I feel like, no, you're graduating. It's like you're graduating school. Like, look, you're with a different crowd, a different group of people. You're celebrating. You're happy. You're you just things working out for you. You're building, you're growing, you're manifesting, you're getting married. The universe is working on your side. Some of you are going back to law school and I'm getting goosebumps because you're going to be a wonderful lawyer or judge. Court. And you're celebrating. I know here comes this person or some of you are going to be famous or like movie stars or something. Or you're going to have something published because here comes this person you now coming around. To one of your openings or whatever. Taking them time like. He hello. And I'm seeing this person still in the lower energies. You know. Like hello. um, What's up? How are you? I don't know. But why do you still see this person in that low. Low, low, low energy. Yes. Some of you are healers. And this person really wants your healing. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's time for you to look at this from a higher perspective because maybe you are still allowing this person to control you or like it's as if you're, you haven't really fully or truly healed in this situation. Because if this person is coming back around to you, who are, you are an angel, obviously, right? And you're still seeing them this way, like seeing them as the devil and as toxic. And this person's like, I don't understand this person. They probably want you to see something good in them. They want you to see the good in them. Because maybe they can't see it exactly. Wisdom. This person wants your... 
They want you to help them to ignite their... They want you to look at them. Mm. Expose the, the what is good in them. They probably... Ooh. I, they want to know what you love in them or what you had loved in them. They want to know. Because I feel like they didn't even believe that you loved them. Maybe until now or something. They want to know. They want to know this magnetic energy. And this could be your person's person who is calling you to find out what your person. Truth. For some of you, this is your person's person. That third party energy. Wanting to find out what your person sees in you. What their person sees in you. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. You're going to just say something. It's just me. It's just my soul. It's probably this person wants to know about your recipes too. Like your recipes baptize me. Bless me. Hey, baby, why are you tempting me? I don't know. So, so look higher. Maybe you can offer healing, love, and advice. Because like I say, you are an earth angel. So, it, I mean, protect yourself. Show me energy protection for cancer. We we kept saying the king of swords. So even if you're going to dive into this person's energy, protect yourself. Because, you know, like, don't let somebody all the way back into your space, into your heart. Because these people are coming manipulatively still. And it's disappointing to me, honestly, to tell you the truth. But I feel like you should have a higher... Ah, it is that which you might heal. You're going to see them for exactly who they are. It is important for you to be authentic. Something about Gemini energy. Speaking and healing mass. See, seeing for, seeing like without 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 getting emotionally attached, but still able to to still being able to um to know the energy. Something like that. Cancer. So be able to separate yourself from the, the confusion of someone else and still heal them or help them without allowing them to come fully into your space. So right now we're transforming this. I still don't know if, if this person re uh, reaches out to you if you should respond or answer. I don't know how you feel this money. This looks like a million dollars that you are manifesting, I, that you have... A, manifested fortune so i don't know if this person want to tell you that so what's the devil card this person just may be obsessed with you or inflamed or angry or have some addiction so it may not be that they're completely evil i don't know possibly are they inflamed so advice for cancers in this love reading please Give me the advice. Don't forget your part. Focus upon what makes you happy in love. Be true. Got to be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Sometimes you have to compromise. Just for your betterment. For your love. For your like. Do what you would do if you love yourself. Kind of energy. And for the bigger picture. I feel like that's all I have for this love reading. This person could be a Gemini, but Gemini or a Gemini has been watching you. And this person is feeling guilt and shame. It's just hard not having you and they want to speak with you. And they are, they feel up they feel protective of you even though they're not with you in a sense, you know? It's like this person feel protective of you or they're still wondering who's who's holding down and now and i keep wondering yeah they keep wondering who's holding you so they made a wrong decision and flew off they thought they were gonna <laughs> this is not funny oh my god it's so funny they thought they were gonna be free <laughs> they thought oh my god i'm gonna be free and then they they didn't have the wings, didn't mature properly or something. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Ace of Hearts. So someone wants to really come around and express to you. This person may come and kneel to you and they're so sincere. And 
they're pouring their heart out to you they are gonna say like they never expected they never expected that please i never expected that what what didn't they expect the transformation i don't know what they didn't expect but if this person could get you to come back into their bed that's that would be all well and loving and there is you know new love i don't know this we're just gonna let this message ride as it is because we could talk about your new love and your true love of course but just don't be confused with the past person. La, 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 la. Two twos flip. Did you see that? Your new love, your true love. All right, let's talk. Oh my God. Your new love is um, confident, clear. I feel like they are literally here within this message. It's kind of strange. It's like you're saying, yeah, they were listening to your entire message. But then they're like, yeah, they want to make themselves known. Like, I'm here. Something like that. I'm in the background. This could be a Capricorn. They could dream of you, watch you. It could be another person that's watching you. All right, love you, Cancer. These are your love messages for today. Like the video if you find inspiration. If it's, if it's able to help you on your journey in some way, shape, or form. And I will see you in the next one. All is well. All is within you. Take it easy out there. Bye.